Well guys, the day out there is waiting for us. There's no work today. I've been uh, catching up on things that I've needed to catch up on. Uh, little odds and ends here and there. Um, but let's get through the intro. Uh, we do have uh, something to show you that's going to be really cool and interesting. So again, let's get through the intro. See you guys on the other side. And as far as intros go, I need your intros. I need your outros. If you haven't done one, if you want to do another one, just simply say, hi, I'm so-and-so from so-and-so, and you are watching, or you have been watching, depending upon if you want to do an intro or an outro, you can do both if you'd like, beyond 1031. And that's all you have to say. I would love to include you guys more in what we do here. So, okay, now we'll get through the intro. Oh, and you, wait, hold on, wait. You can send them to HalloweenHellmouth at yahoo.com, or you can uh, Dropbox me, Dropbox me, a link, Give me a link to Dropbox or something like that. Whatever works. I'm Kathy. I'm Susan. And we're coming to you from the dog park in Bartlett, Illinois. And you're watching Beyond, Beyond 1031. 1031. So I told you guys yesterday that I was going to let you know what happens when you and I, if you guys go through Robinhood, get the free stock, you click on it. So first of all, thank you, Brian. You click on it. And then it gives you rewards. And then you are able to choose one, two, or three. Which door is it behind? I'm going to do this one today. I'm going to do this one. And then you go and you scratch it off like this. Woo! And it's a free share of Fitbit valued at $4.56, which is about the normal that you get from here. So after two days, you can sell it and then get something else and just sit on it. If you don't want to do anything else, just sit on it. I've updated the link down below in the description so that uh, it is actually a link. It wasn't a link before. You could copy and paste it. But um, yeah, so Brian, thank you. And um, that's awesome. On my constant... What am I trying to say? I can't even start this clip out. I don't know what I'm trying to say. What am I trying to say? On my constant battle? No. My constant lookout for socks, my constant quest, that's it. On my constant quest to find some freaking socks, we're here at Target. Man, finally got my words out. Because I've been like at home and haven't had a lot of physical activity, we are going to park way out in the middle of BFE out here just so that I can get some more steps because that's what it is. It's just, it's the little things, it's baby steps, it's all the little things that add up to the big picture. It takes one penny to make a dollar. Figure out that math. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's almost like there's been like a run on socks or something. <laughs> All the ones I want aren't here. And then the ones I do want are like $4 more expensive than the big packs. Oh, never lucky. Do you guys see this? I'm so proud of myself. I went in to get socks and this is the only thing I got. Score. Once again at the park, getting steps, checking out the other spooky barn. Oh man, and I just really, really wish that they would let us do a haunt here. I mean, I know that they use this barn right here for storage, but the one that I showed the other day, I don't think they use that one for anything. It looked like there's just like a bunch of miscellaneous crap in it. But to have a haunt here at the park, inside the spooky barns, all they have to do is get fire suppression inside the barn, make sure that it's safe for you know the public, shore it up or do whatever they need to do with the structure, and then just like let us have it as a haunt. Why not? Oh man, it'd be so awesome. Because I don't think they use this one for anything either. Are we able to see inside? Oh, I can't see inside. Whoa. That's like somebody's boat. <laughs> Deja vu. The sound? Tacoma? Lakewood, Mount Rainier. Black locust trees, all of those right there. They grow like weeds, very, very invasive. Used to have one in the backyard. That used to be the haunt tree that was in the backyard. The way that these grow, this isn't one tree. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, six, in, or six or seven individual trees and they clump together when they start growing which is kind of their downfall because that leads to uh, infestations and rot in between where the pieces meet and eventually the demise of the tree. Whoa. 
Whoa. It's an active hole. I wonder if anything's in it. I'll just put that there for a second and I'm gonna back away. Did you guys see anything in the hole? Well, I was going to dunk the camera in the water because we're actually close to the water here and it's actually water, not mud, like over there. I'll film it when we get there, but if you guys can see way over there on that other bank, there's that little dock. That's the only dock that this lake has. This lake has toxic algae in it. You're not supposed to let your birds, let your birds, oh my gosh, let your dogs swim in it. Um, you're not supposed to drink it. You're not supposed to touch it. Don't swim in it yourself. Ooh, there's a path. I did not know that there was a path down here. Ha oh, ha. Oh. It's a very short path. Ew, yeah, see, ugh. Yeah. I don't want to bore you guys, but I kind of want to take the day off. It's been one of those days. Not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. Just um, kind of a relaxing kind of day that I just want to kind of sit back and not have to worry about editing a lot of stuff tonight. It's still weird vlogging in public. I'm not sure if she looked or not. I get all self-conscious and then my words that I usually can't get out anyway when I notice people like around me when I'm vlogging in public. I get that much more tongue-tied. And we were, whoops, right over there. Not a sandbar, that's like a muck bar. I didn't want to scare the geese away, so we left. And just like that, we're done. Oh, ooh, how exciting. Um, I'm back home, by the way. Um, Cheryl, awesome. We have another one. From Cheryl we're gonna click on this and then here we go this time I'm gonna choose the left one you guys see it we're recording okay I'm gonna choose the left one Groupon three dollars 48 cents thank you Woo! that's so cool thank you guys so much and I would also like to know what you guys got as well well in doing so I realized that I really 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 do not like Washing my vehicle like I used to. <laughs> it's certainly more of a chore now. So anyway, tires are done, car's done, putting on the tire black. Man, and like so many people have like door dinged me and hit me just like all over my vehicle. I'll try to find the most recent one. So we've got all this stuff right here that somebody did. We got this stuff here. This is all new, all new. And by new, I mean, I didn't do it. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. And I certainly didn't do these. At least if somebody had like, let me know when it had happened, I could have at least filed something for uh, a hit and run. And yeah, I would have had a deductible on my insurance, but at least I would have known when it had happened. I think it's too late now. And usually insurances require like, a police report and then the police don't want to come out for a simple well I don't know when it happened <laughs> I'm running out of everything I ran out of soap I ran out of I, I use a uh, bleach white to and I scrub to make all the uh, white lettering pop now I'll come back later and uh, wipe the, the wheels off not the tires the wheels wheel tire don't call this a rim it's a wheel that's the wheel that's the tire this is the center cap. A hub cap fits over the whole wheel. There's your terminology. Although most people call them rims anyway, but yeah, whatever. I also cleaned all my mats. But before I put those back in, I think I'm gonna vacuum one more time. Why not, right? You guys are dirty, man. Today I'm cleaning, you're still not clean. Today I'm cleaning the everything. You guys, the truck, the house. Today's the day of cleaning. Ooh, look at that. Looking pretty sharp if I don't say so myself, eh? Look at that. Okay. I'm done. I'm done with the freaking vehicle. Now I've got to let all this stuff over here dry. Which will be tomorrow unless it rains. And, oh yeah, I got a bunch of scrap metal for my neighbor too, which is really cool. So I have to process that. So probably not getting to drywall tonight. <laughs> Hi, Buffy. Hi. We're going to throw the ball to you in just a second. We'll get that in a sec. But first... I want to capture some time-lapse of this while I barbecue a burger on the grill. 
We're gonna take this orange sky and see what we can do with the time lapse. Where should I set this thing? I never know. I never know where to set it. So while the time lapse is going on, I threw the ball and she chased it and she's pretty much recovered now. I was gonna film it, but I thought to myself, here, let me put the tripod. Yeah, tripod, see? Thank you, Todd. Uh, I got the tripod from Todd. Huh. Oh man, I'm a poet and no, I'm not. <laughs> um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, the time lapse. Uh, I wanted it to go until it got dark because it was just so cool. And And the colors were so vibrant. We'll do CLC right now and just knock it out. That way I can edit everything at the same time. I have not edited anything yet, except for there's a new intro. Oh, you guys already saw that. Never mind. Awesome. I just got a message from Angie saying that she's all she's packed and ready to go. So she'll go to work tomorrow and then she'll be headed here. So excited. Okay, first comment of the night. Jolson, I still win. LOL, copyright. Ah, it's alive! <laughs> Jolson lives! Emerald Gypsy Art and Bren22 said, awesome. Nice to have you commenting again. Jolson says eight pounds per gallon, I believe. Um, actually, it's uh, 8.386. Uh, oh, it is six. It's about six pounds per gallon, so I was like almost twice off. But anyway, an 11 gallon tank would be 66 pounds of fuel in it. A 22 gallon tank would be 132, right? Is that right? No, that's not right. 60, yeah, it is. 66 and 66, 66, 12, 13, 132. Yeah, 132 pounds of fuel. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm going to check my math before I edit that up. <laughs> Emerald Gypsy Heart, I love taking pictures of clouds, water, and nature. Some of my pics are pretty cool. You know, some of them turn out really well, and then other ones, it just you just have to be there. Because Angie and I have taken so many pictures of, like, trees and the woods, and it's, like, so beautiful when you're there. But you get, and you look at the picture, and it looks like just, just a bunch of trees. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything to anybody else. And you also go on to say that you agree those things are his things, so he should be allowed to have his things close to. Yes, I wholeheartedly agree. Carrie Ann Olson, what time has been getting totally dark over there? Um, probably about this time, well, about like a quarter after 10. Uh, Nicole Flynn, uh, that is really a cool gold skull that you got, Phoenix. I agree with you, Troy. I think it's so sad when some kids go through uh, growing up and split households. I remember these kids I used to babysit, their mom would let them take their toys and whatever other stuff they wanted to take over to their dad's house that they wanted. But him, on the other hand, he would not let them wear the clothes that he bought for them or take their toys back to their mom's house. It was really sad. I mean, they're, they're the kids stuff and kids grow out of clothes so quickly that it really shouldn't matter. I mean, if they soil clothes, they're kids, <laughs> you know? So I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, Jen Daigle, I tried to sign up for Robinhood, but the link wouldn't work, and I didn't want to just sign up through the main website because then you don't get the credit. Correct, I would not. Um, I'm not sure if I was doing something wrong. Do you know if there's a way to sign up through the main page and still have you get your share for it? No, there is no way. You have to use the link. I did post the link, and I fixed the link too because the link down in the description apparently wasn't a link. You would have to cut and paste it, so I made it a link because I had to put the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, and now it's a link. Now you can click on it. And all is good. Fran Royer, I'm still enjoying all of your vlogs. Keep them coming. Angie, this weekend. Yay! That's how I feel about things. <laughs> Keep her fuzzy ears. Six pounds. Yes. And thank you for the other uh, information you posted there. Halloween fur. Uh, this last weekend, I did a fuel pump on my 67 Ford, so it wasn't as hard as I knew because it's still on the engine. Yeah. Some of those can be pretty tricky though if the little if the rod pops down on some of the older ones and oh my gosh that could be a nightmare too. Uh, LJ Mike one two zero four. If you do a fuel pump, do you have a fire extinguisher? I have a fire extinguisher that I carry with me all the time. And if for no other reason, if my vehicle catches fire or if I'm driving along and somebody else's vehicle is on fire, at least I can use my little fire extinguisher and spin on it because <laughs> that's about all that thing would be good for. Uh, Mr. Bro at 540, I saw the Ghostbusters. Woo! -hoo! Are they still so popular? Yeah, they are. 
Brian Parks, you used the link to Robin Hood. Awesome. Judy Hart, happy birthday, Brian. Daniel Guy, yes, I believe I mentioned it before uh, when you were by the cemetery down the road from there. Could have stopped by and had a look at the Here's. Just pulled it out Father's Day, thinking of taking it down to the Northwest Haunters camp out in July if I get the trader fixed. Oh, um, dude, I can't remember yesterday, in all honesty. Um, it's a lot easier for you guys to remember one thing than it is for me to remember like everything, so I apologize for not remembering that. Um, Railfan Jason, and maybe, I'm not sure if I'm going to that camp out or not, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Maybe we'll meet. Uh, Railfan Jason, I had a spider to randomly show up on my computer desk. Let's just say that was their final destination, I would agree. Uh, Cordelia Hamilton, I've never heard of a pincher bug, so I looked it up on YouTube and found it to be an earwig. Yes. I just spent 15 minutes of my life watching a spider wrestling this bug and wrapping it up. How sad am I? I've never seen these gold things you buy, but my claim to fame is first cousin is a consultant minor engineer at Kennecut Copper Mine in Utah. He left England to live the American dream. Oh, that's cool. Wow. And final comment of the night, Joseph Blau, hello Hellions at 10.50 p.m. Well, 10.50 your time. All right, guys, that's it. Happy haunting. Thank you so much for watching. I shouldn't have to say it. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share, and do, do all that other stuff. I won't bore you guys. We'll just see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, oh, and you'll be here. Bye. Good night. See you guys. Bobby. Good night. Hi, I'm Brian Head from Georgia, and you've been watching Beyond 1031. And Troy, this is Bamboo.